So the uh, penultimate contest of this afternoon. Craig McIntyre, another uh, Glasgow boy, wearing the blue of Scotland from the Deniston McNair Club. And uh, Scotland need a win here if they're to take it into the deciding 15th bout of the afternoon. And hoping to stop them do that, Tom Aitchison from uh, Nosley Vale, ABC, a Skelmersdale lad. And incidentally, the uh, oldest of the boxers on show today, 17 years of old, 17 years old even. I think he's the only senior as well as a result, so he's uh, just turned 17 a couple of months or so ago. Yeah, he's just turned senior a couple of months ago, uh, Tom. He's uh, been a great junior. He's uh, boxed for England a number of times. He's won a couple of Four Nations Championships and he's um, three Nations Championships, I should say, and he's, he's uh, quite a talented boy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, about 14. 57 kilogram contest, three two minute rounds between and then choosing in the red corner. Representing Nosey Vale, ABC, and Merseyside Cheshire, Tom Aitchison. Introducing in the blue corner, representing Scotland, Craig McIntyre. Aitchison in the red, McIntyre in the blue. Nice scoring shot from McIntyre straight away. Nice backhand through the middle. You mentioned about the shorts earlier on. Would those be uh, Nosley Vale shorts then, or are they just his uh, red and white flag of St George yeah. patriotic English ones that Tom Aitchison's got on? Yeah, they're his own shorts. I think that. Um, I don't think that. No, they're, they're his own shorts. They look nice though. <laughs> got the colour scheme right. Anyway, keeps the uh, red and white theme. Got his uh, name or H splashed across the belt as well. Team captain today, Tom, and he was quite proud of that. He was the one leading, bringing the flag out before. Yeah, I noticed a big uh, broad grin on his face as he uh, emerged with the flag from the, uh, the tunnel area. So even if I mean Tom has boxed for England, but it just shows you the lads they can box for England, but when they get to represent the local region and a local area and a local city, they absolutely love it. it means a lot to him. And I'm sure as captain he'll want to uh, lead by example by chalking up another. W in the win column. Absolutely, there's not a lot of scoring shots again in this round. Both guys in really nice tight defences. So it's uh, judges are a bit close than us. Maybe they pick a few shots out, but uh, from where we're sat, it's uh, looking pretty tight up to now. Good competitive, competitive round. Yeah, even Stevens that one. We'll see how the uh, judges can split them. Twenty-four wins, ten defeats so far for Craig McIntyre in the uh, amateur ring. Uh, Reds foot and Tom Aitchison has taken a four-one lead there at the end of the first round. As I say, he's had a nice tight defence throughout. And as has his, you know, just little shots there that the uh, judges have seen, and he's uh, picked off a little bit of a lead. Well, as we mentioned at the start, he does have the pedigree national champion, Tri Nations gold and silver medals for Tom Aitchison. He's uh, away at college now. And likes a bit of darts, apparently, as well as his boxing.
Referee just waiting until the uh, red corner had cleared away a bit of the uh, paraphernalia. Nice body shot there from Tom Aitchison, right under the elbow, lovely shot. Made McIntyre step back a little bit, he made him think. Oh, lovely shot again from Tom. Starting to up the pace again. Shows his experience, he's had a look in the first round and then now starting to up the work rate within that second round. Liverpool, of course, had some uh, great boxing champions in its time. I suppose the most famous John Conte, former world light heavyweight champion. So, plenty of idols for these uh, young lads to look up to as they try to perhaps make a, a career for themselves in boxing for some of them. Yeah, I think he's it is a really good fabric of boxing within the city in terms of, of terms of history and passion and tradition and now I suppose Tony Bellew as well now must be an idol to a lot of the kids out there absolutely I mean and just say uh, we've got Thomas Stork from the Salisbury club and uh, going to the Olympics yeah already qualified with a good chance as well with a good chance yeah. and we've got Sam Maxwell and Callum Smith from the Salisbury and Rotunda respectively going in the Olympic qualifiers and potentially Natasha Jonas as well going in the Olympic qualifiers so we potentially there could be four Liverpool boxers in London and which would be wonderful I mean the last Olympics obviously we had Pricey go in and he got a bronze medal there big Pricey now an, an established professional and I think the pathway the pathway that boxing development assists is uh, it's well trodden yeah just a few months away of course the uh, London Olympics the pinnacle for any amateur boxer of course to try and get to that level yeah, Tom, Tom's opened up a 7-1 lead now, and it's it's about right. It's, the, in the main, both boys have got nice tight defences, but Tom's been able to score good, good, the better of the quality shots throughout the bout. I mean, I think a lot of the boys you're watching here today potentially are candidates for going to Rio, or if not, the Olympic Games after if they stick with the sport. And I think that's. Uh, oh, you know, it takes years to get to that to that talent and get that ability. But it's the foundations are being laid here now today with these types of tournaments, getting the boys the appropriate experience at the appropriate age to help them develop onto future international bouts. So last round for uh, Tom Aitchison in uh, red and Craig McIntyre in the uh, blue of Scotland and McIntyre with uh, a big gap to make up probably too big a gap to be fair and it's more likely to be a case of Aitchison just uh, seeing this one home but you never know yeah he's just a little bit step in front of Craig um, in front of Craig in this bow he's just got a little bit just a, just a little bit too crafty and a bit seasoned for him, Tom. And he's, he doesn't need to rush it now. He doesn't need to do anything daft. He just, he's like he is. He's just probably getting his back foot a little bit. Move around. So he's getting a little bit scrappy now. Tom, Tom doesn't need to worry about that. All he needs to do is just keep, keep to his boxing. Tara is uh, giving it a go, which is to his credit. Trying to uh, step up the tempo if he can. So he's trying hard, Craig, to, to get to score his shots, but that's how come they've clashed and fell over. Uh, not worried too much about defence now he's trying to get forward and land some scoring shots but of course each time as he does he's perhaps opening himself up to the counter and Aitchison old enough and wise enough I think to uh, be able to pick him off if he has to yeah, good, good scoring shot there at the end of that combination from Tom 
you know, just, just letting his experience show. Yeah, straight down the middle there with no guard at all for McIntyre. Uh, excellent contest yet again. I don't think they only come together a couple of times, but in the main, boxed clean. Excellent. Referee didn't have a lot to do in that bout. Looks like it uh, should be a home win, though, and that'll uh, settle it overall in favour of Merseyside and Cheshire. they have just been informed of a 13 points to five win for Red. That's a comfortable margin of victory in the end for Tom Aitchison. And uh, as team captain, that'll make him uh, doubly delighted, I'm sure. Absolutely. Great performance. Box very well. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please show your appreciation for both boxers, please. <laughs> With a judges score of 13 5, the winner of 57, 57 kilogram winner, Aitchison in the red corner.